Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. We're going to be looking today at a Disney Parks exclusive figure, the Droid Factory. It is Chopper from Star Wars Rebels, and uh, given that the, uh, the, the outcome of the, the ghost just being back to the HasLab ghost, uh, this is by far, up until this point, the, the best Chopper going. Uh, we did get another release of Chopper by Hasbro back in the animated 2014 um, line of figures, but um, yeah, this one easily surpassed that, and I know Hasbro are going to be doing a official Chopper for to go with the Ghost, um, as Sabine and Chopper weren't part of the tiers, uh, but they have basically promised that we'll be getting a vintage collection more than likely realistic style um, sort of season four era chopper. So I wanted to give you a look at this one. This is currently the best one out there. Um, I did pick these up when I was over in the States back in 2019. So I've been sitting on these for a little while now. Um, but yeah, it's been, I haven't had a chance to, to share this one. Um, I'm glad I got two, kept one carded. I don't have the other leg on hand. Um, Due to the fact I just sort of picked this out of my loose figures um, and that the other legs somewhere in my accessories bin. So we'll, we'll take a look at that uh, figure in just a moment. I'll sort of look at the packaging. I do love their packaging. I think it looks good. You know, it just definitely uh, distinguishes it apart from Hasbro stuff. So the Droid Factory. Does have a little bio on the back there. It says all different types of astromech droids populate the Star Wars galaxy. Each droid is different and has their own unique personality and colors. This cranky old C110P astromech is a loyal friend and member of the Ghost Rebel crew and is often squabbling around the Phantom. May the force be with you and your droids. And just some cool little details there on the uh you know the retractable arms and communications array and recess telescope and retractable wheel booster rocket in there as well but uh yeah let's let's take a look at the figure because it's a good one it's it's nice let me try and zoom up a little bit more on him there we go so yeah just just really nice chopper obviously with his sort of season one leg i think it was season two when he found the replacement um which is there inside of the box be able to sort of just sort of keep him with his season one oddball sort of look. His head does spin around, which is cool. And the uh, can sort of pull these little arms out. And they do articulate, which is nice as well. This arm does come out as well. A little front front arm there pops out, so that's nice. And it's actually been a long time since I've had a good look at this figure, but I really like it. Yeah, the arms all sort of pop out as they are sort of part of that droid factory sort of sculpt and build. And obviously that just makes it easier to, to swap out the uh Swap out for the other leg that he comes with. But yeah, I love, love the colours on the uh, the Rebels figures and Chopper, you know. Being able to see him in live action running around and doing what he does, it's it's been really good in the Ahsoka series. So yeah, the, the third leg, the middle leg does pop out. It does, it does spin. And we can replace it with the uh, booster rocket there. And I don't recall, no, there's no flame piece with, with it. So there is a peg there. You might be able to find something in your accessories to uh, replicate a, a flame piece to go in the uh, bottom there. But yeah, I personally like displaying the wheel of him just, you know, being able to zoom around on one. <laughs> One leg as he does. I mean, obviously that's not going to happen with the toy, but uh, <laughs> it's still great. I still, yeah, really like this. Like the look at this figure. He's really cool. 
very fiddly little little clip joints there and they will sort of wobble and loosen up over time but generally they will sort of sit there nicely once he's on display they're not going anywhere they're just the little things like the uh, the wonky sort of metal patch there on the front cool little detail it's nice a really really nice figure but yeah this will definitely do for the meantime I'll keep this with my Rebels figures anyway and once the ghost comes out that will sort of be displayed with the, the live action one that they're probably going to do on the mural card with the Sabine and that will go with all the HasLab tiers that were unlocked and at this stage I probably will be opening those figures until, unless they uh, announce they're going to do some alternate sculpt of Rebel Rebels characters to go in the main line but <clears throat> until then I don't know I, I might open them I don't, I'm not sure I haven't decided I've got about 12 months to think about it so <laughs> plenty of time but yeah just wanted to share Chopper from the Droid Factory line the Disney Parks and this one did come out in doesn't doesn't have a year on it yeah no year on it I'm not seeing yeah originally $12.99 but that's all good. They probably don't put the years on them because they can just, you know, put them out whenever. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Chopper. C110P. Grumpy little droid. But we all love him. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you for another review very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.